So hello guys, uh, today we're gonna put So hello guys, today we're gonna pose the part two of the training uh, session with their dog We're gonna do the speak, leave it command and the open the door So let's get to it So the next step is gonna be to open a fridge door or any door with a handle so you, we put a, a kind of towel on the fridge door so she can open it uh, when I ask her. Or you can put a rope, you can put anything you have on your hand, you can put a knot on it and it holds pretty good without destroying any of your doors. How I start featuring her is with the touch command. So it's two commands mixed in one. So with the touch, it was easy, I show her my hands, the towel, whatever, and to ask her with the tree. Touch. Touch. Good job. She touched it. Good job. I reward her. Touch. Good job. Even if it's slightly touched, at least she touched it. In the beginning, they might be hesitant a bit of touching the object, your hands, or whatever. As the moment they come a little bit forward, you can reward them. So they know that it's good you come, you come near your hands. So I point my finger, the object, touch. No. Touch. Good job. When we teach her first, she was a lot moving the towel around. She was just putting her nose, doing this. It's okay. We reward her. She touch it at least. That's the most important. When she, you know that she understands the word touch, you can either treat just on the other side of the towel so she can smell it through it. She tried to bite it, most of the dogs are gonna bite it, bite the towel a little bit to try to get the treat. It's good, remove the treat, give it to her. But now she she doesn't understand quite enough why I put the treat on the other side of the towel when she know I'm, I want to ask her to open the fridge. So you just keep doing this till your dog understands properly. If slightly you, you're not sure, if they understand, just keep doing it. They're gonna slowly understand and you're gonna see your dog is learning. You're gonna see your dog understand what you want. you asking them, sorry. After what I start doing, it's looking at, at her and just say touch to understand, like to try to remove the end signals to see if she really understands what I'm asking. But I know she's not gonna understand right now. She's gonna probably try to open the fit, but let's, let's see. Touch. <laughs> She was getting a little bit too oversized and I don't want her to jump on me and have some accidents so I will just suck her right now and reward her because she was calm. Let's see it again. Touch. No. Touch. She's a little bit too focused and she doesn't, I can see in her eyes, she doesn't quite understand why, what I'm asking her. Uh, she know the trick of the touching, but when she's near the fridge, she know this is where I start to teach her. This is the only door that she can open. Sorry, so it's the only door she can open, so she doesn't quite know. If I was maybe changing the door and trying to re-teach her how to open this door, she will probably understand. But I think you know you understand all the basic here. So after, when she understands the touch, she understand when you put the treat on door, she's gonna catch to grab it, grab the towel a little bit and when the dog understands that you can start putting the words open open the fridge, open whatever how you want to formulate it remember you need to be short because your dog won't understand it's words that you're using a lot with the fridge or try to use words that you don't use in, in every day so oof I told her in French because she would understand more. So basically, I'll ask her to open. Ouvre. Ouvre. Good job. She pulled. It's perfect. Your dog might not be able to understand quite because the door of a fridge is pretty heavy. She wasn't understanding. Like she's like, I'm pulling, but it doesn't open. So the trick I had for her, it's she tried to pull, I, I opened the fridge for her right away. I opened the fridge right away so she can understand 
this is what I want. I want you to open force and open the fridge. Oh. Good job. When your dog understands properly how to open the fridge, put the treat in a way that your dog can access properly the treats. Uh, in that way, they can understand. Oh, if I open the fridge, okay, I will have some. I will have some treats right inside. So they're gonna associating the fact that opening the fridge have a treat on the other side. Be careful. It can be tricky when you're cooking or you're not nearby and you keep the towel there if your dog is a sneaky like her you're gonna find her nose in the fridge with eating it with your food just be careful we start teaching her to not do it with the leave it coming we're gonna pass that later on we'll do it again okay we try to teach her in english too so good job we try to teach her in English so it does it, it We try to teach her in English so it's word that we don't use often. Like we told you we are we speaking French so English is not it's her second language. We don't use English words much in in the house. So by teaching her in English it's a lot more easier to, for her to understand that it's not just a word that we put in the air and while we talk to someone, she's not gonna open the fridge, for example. So, we're gonna do again. Open. Open. There we go. Good job. So, that's about it for the open the fridge. So, the next one is gonna be leave it. So, every time your dog barking, every time your dog try to purchase, try to chase any cats or whatever she wants some attention I'm sorry about that every time your dog trying well it's doing something that you don't want basically the the commands of leave it it's perfect for it I have a bowl full of hot dog sausage again with the mozzarella cheese which she loves a lot now she learned that she's not allowed to receive some food without doing anything. Now she's giving me the paw, but she understands she's not allowed to get it with her mouth right away from the bowl. She's just next to it. It took a lot of time to teach her. It took about maybe a month for us to teach her completely. It's pretty long. She's not patient at all. Just like now, she's trying to have the food. For the leave the command, you can put a food down on the floor and told her leave it. she don't touch it for five seconds give her the treats it's she's gonna understand I'm not supposed to touch it so I'm gonna put it far away not too far she's just looking at it so in my hands leave it good job she look at it she didn't try to go for it which is perfect so you try it again leave it no nope. she tried to no. She tried to get it. I closed my hands. You're not gonna get it till I tell you to get it. What we do now, let's see if it works. We put one treat down, leave it. That we have the sign the sign of two finger showing right on her nose. So I say no, you know, stay there, you're not moving. Put another one. Leave it right now with the, the sign cue. Leave it. When I'm ready for her to go get it, so you just wait a few seconds, you give her the permission to, give, uh, to go get it or just give it to her. No, leave it. It worked their patient a lot, so she's a lot more patient than when we got her. Nope. She has a lot more patience than when we got her. So I just, with the hand signal, I just take my two finger and say, go. With the go, she understands go, it's mean go. Go mean go. So I'll just put her down, push. Stay. All the commands always coming back in every other command you try to teach them. So I make her sit, or I make her lay down, I make her sit, stay, 
to say you're not moving from there. Put a treat down, leave it. If your dog don't, you think they don't pay attention to you, you can just put their chin up a little bit just to say, look at me. Or just put a treat near your face, just like this. Look at me. She's looking at me, I can give her a treat. Leave it. She understand. I put another one. Leave it. What I make her work for, it's when I look at her and I don't say anything. Go! She's really thinking, when you gonna get me? When you gonna let me, I'm sorry. When you gonna let me? Because she wants the food. If she, that your dog doesn't even care about the food, you can try with a toy, giving them a toy, uh, take it back, giving them, that's not a trick, just find your way for them to listen to you. So next, it's gonna be speak. We use speak in the, uh, for training too, we don't say like pal or something in French, we say it's speak because it's e easier for us. How I got her to train, well it's easy for her, she's barking a lot, she's a lot vocal, so it was pretty easy for us to do it. But I'll show you how I got her to do it. So it was easy. I make her have a good smell of what I have in my hands and just hold the hands. And she don't have patience. Not at all. So it was pretty easy. You just hold the hands there. Good job. She bark. Even if the if even if I didn't want her to bark this way, I need to give her treats to say yes, this is what I want. You keep doing this. Good job. I, right at the moment she bark, you need to tell her good job and give the treat. So I hold the treat near my face so she can look at me. Speak. Good job. That was a really great one, she understand right away. You need to repeat often, often how to speak. And after what I what we use for her to speak for the sign is just making a mouth with your your finger. So just like this. So again, when she learned what the word speak mean, you can add the fingers with it, your hand sign with it, and say speak at the same time. Just like this. Speak. Good job. You keep doing it, good job. So that's it for today. If you like it, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. So if you have any suggestion for your next video, let us know and we'll see you next time.